hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks hey y'all um i had to take a couple days from my last vlog um y'all know i usually vlog kind of back to back to back so that i'm able to you know have content and you know all of those things and y'all it has been so nasty outside like y'all probably can't tell because my apartment is letting in so much light thank goodness but it has been snowing the past couple days i've just kind of been in here i went through a little bit of a funk so we're getting out of that today i'm getting ready to go outside <laughs> y'all i'm getting ready to go to the grocery store i feel like i'm always at the grocery store okay always um but we're on a serious budget today okay um so i'm going to go to aldi's and then i'm going to go to walmart for the things that i didn't get from aldi's that type of stuff um i just need a bunch of food like i i just hate grocery shopping y'all i really do i hate grocery shopping my mom is one of those people who goes to the grocery store like three four times a week me i i if i could go once a month okay okay um but yeah i'm getting ready to go out and go do that um i probably am going to stop and get a coffee because it's it's literally 9:42. i've been up since like 8 a.m um i was just reading a little bit scrolling y'all know the drill but yeah um so i don't really have a whole whole lot planned for this weekend i want to try and dermaplane my face um of course i'm filming hair content per her always and always some cleaning type of stuff but we'll see i always seem to get into some random stuff um so yeah let's go along for the ride um y'all know the drill i'm gonna attempt to get some footage for y'all but it never actually works um <laughs> but i will definitely see you guys when i get back um to give you guys a grocery haul so if you're new around here hey my name is mink i do natural hair lifestyle book beauty all types of content so if you're interested in any of those things of course go ahead hit that subscribe button join our kinky group fam we absolutely would love to have you i feel like i've been growing so so much lately um so i'm definitely still very excited to see what the rest of 2024 has in store for me as i'm filming this today is january 20th so my 25th birthday is coming up y'all and i'm very bittersweet about it um for no reason in particular like i just am very bittersweet about it i don't have no plans i'm just kind of gonna go with the flow type of thing that day so oh wait let me go to the grocery store <laughs> Y'all know no matter where I go, I gotta check the hair out. From eight until late, I think about you. You're on my nights, I don't know what to do. I can't get no rest, can't get no sleep. Yeah, this whole thing got way too deep, and we should stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. I got everything I'm asking for. But you stop making a big deal out of the little things. Let's get carried away. guys so as you guys saw i'm back home i was able to get you a few clips okay um but y'all also saw my grocery haul today was a very very big grocery shopping day shout out to dad for sending the grocery money okay shout out to dad but i also came home to a couple packages so i'm standing up because i had my phone on my tripod to get y'all the grocery haul and everything so i'm just going you know um so i did get a package from nature's little secret covering the address child um so y'all know i became a brand ambassador for them um a month maybe two ago um so yeah i was able to pick out a few products so i'm gonna pull them out and i'll show y'all what i picked up 
and i will say chat not my face being cut off um nature's little secrets shipping is always quick so once i got my shipping notification it was here in like three days after i got that and even as like a paying customer y'all know i have purchased from nature's little secrets several several times um i can always say that their shipping is always quick always okay y'all so the first thing that i picked up was the nature's little secret um lemon and rosemary clarifying shampoo sorry about my chip nails y'all um it's been on for about a week so i need to you know choose another color um but i keep hearing about this shampoo this is one that all the girls love so i decided to go ahead and pick it up it's only eight ounces so you know shampoos take you a long time to use up but i'm really excited to try this i haven't opened anything um also y'all they were able to send me a pump this pump is actually for let me grab it off my shelf it is actually for the avocado um moisture cream which y'all have seen me do a review but mine came with a little top it came during i want to say during like we were short of everything like all the companies was having a hard time so i asked them to send me a pump because this is just too thick they just had this cap on child like it's just too thick so they were able to send me a pump which is perfect i'm very very excited thank you for that I also picked up the um, fenugreek detangling pre-poo so if you have been around for a while I did do a review on this and it is a product that I like y'all just know just for me is my favorite it's on the ground and it's literally half the price so I do like the um, the fenugreek one this is a really good pre-poo and I do purchase this whenever I shop from nature's little secret but um, I just repurchased it just for me like 10 times more, but I do think this is a really good pre-poo. I love the Aravetta that's included, obviously the Fanny Greeks at the top of the list. But if you're curious about this one, I do have a review is th of this as well. Next, I picked up one of like literally my favorite product from the brand, actually. Child. I don't know who I was who I was kidding. But of course, this is the Agave Nectar Deep Conditioner situation. And this actually won the battle of my favorite deep conditioner in 2023. I just think that this product is spectacular, like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This deep conditioner is just top two and absolutely not two. So if you are curious about where to start with Nature's Little Secret, I highly recommend starting with this agave mask. Like I, I don't see why anybody would not like it. This mask is spectacular. The moisture, the slip doesn't make absolutely any sense. It leaves my hair defined and shiny and there's so much moisture left. But like this is this is the standout product for me so far. Like I still have m most of their line to try, but this right here, don't play with her. I also have tried the mixed fruit mask, which I wish I would have asked them to send, but I think that that's a um I think that was seasonal, but I tried that years ago and though I thought it was good, I didn't necessarily think it was great. So I definitely kind of want to try it again whenever I purchase or um, they offer to send more products or something. I'm going to ask for that one because I definitely want to revisit that and see what it's hitting for now that like I've, I've explored more with the brand. I'm more knowledgeable with my hair, all of that. And then y'all, last but not least, this is the banana leave-in conditioner. So that is what this one looks like. And I absolutely love Nature's Little Secret packaging. It is colorful, but it is simple. It's not too much. As far as this banana leave-in conditioner, um, I just feel like I want to try everything from Nature's Little Secret. Like, I have just about all of their stuff now, with the exception of the cucumber shampoo. Um, I think that's the only thing that I won't have in my stash. I have the gel. I have the um, Iris Moss. I have the strength and deep conditioner i have the rose one and now i have all of these products as well so i think the only product that i won't have is that shampoo which yeah i think everything else i have tried or used up um and honestly i like nature's little secret as a brand like i like the way they communicate it with me i like um that they support the girls okay because listen there's so many brands that don't but I'm so grateful that they sent these. So thank you, Nature's Little Secret, for sending those. I do have a coupon code. It is always in my description box. I will also put a pop-up on the screen so that if you do want to shop with Nature's Little Secret, definitely go ahead and check them out. And I will link some uh, Nature's Little Secret reviews as well. So yeah, that is what I got from Nature's Little Secret. So today I will probably go ahead and put that on my shelf and everything. But I also did pick up this sweatshirt. Now listen y'all, y'all know I'm not doing clothing hauls or doing too too much, okay? But honestly, I haven't been spending money and I feel like I'm not saving money, so I might as well be spending the money that, you know, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of everything being so daggone expensive. So, I decided to go ahead and buy myself a nice little gift. This is from My Pride Apparel. I have another hoodie from them. It says, um, my ancestors would be proud. I bought some others for gifts. It is just a black, um, like, decal, I guess, type of store. So, I'll leave their website down below as well. But, um, they have stuff for men, women, kids. You know, it, they have a little something for everybody. So, they were having a sale. And this sweatshirt, which I will zoom in for y'all in a minute, this sweatshirt was only $20. So then I just had to pay shipping. So it turned out to be $30 for the sweatshirt, you know, to get it here to me and everything. And that was still cheaper than originally priced. I think this is maybe like 40 or 50 or something. Um, so since this was on sale, I just decided to just bite the bullet and get it. Y'all know I love a good sweatshirt. Okay. Love a good sweatshirt. So, and this one has a black girl reading. So y'all know... So this is what the sweatshirt looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? It's in this light blue color. Um, and I just can't wait to wear this. Like how cute. I'm going to be laid up on my couch. Reading in my in my hoodie like this. Okay. And it's a sweatshirt. Um, like I said, I have had a couple sweatshirts from them. Always good material. I got mine in a size medium because I wanted it to be a little more fitted. I, the, my ancestors would be proud one. I bought that one a couple years ago. But that one is in a large and it's a little bit bigger. Much like this hoodie, this is in a large and it's just like a baggier type of look for what I'm going for. But for this, I definitely wanted to get it in a medium. Hopefully it fits a little more snug. But yeah, y'all. So that is what today entailed i picked up chick-fil-a because y'all know me i don't believe in cooking right after our grocery shop i'm not doing that um so i'm just going to literally relax i picked up some um face razors and a couple vlogs ago and i want to try dermaplaning so maybe i'll try that um maybe i'll do that tomorrow for like a self-care day but today for the rest of the day i really just want to read watch a little crime shows okay i've been re-watching insecure so maybe I'll get into that. Y'all, I have been so into Top Chef, okay? They have two seasons on Netflix, and I have been tearing through them. I'm at the finale, so I'll probably actually watch that. Um, and yeah, you know, clean up the, the usual stuff. I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow, and I am using Trey Lux. And that will be, um, I think it'll be for, actually no, but that video is going to go up on my birthday. So, you know, you know, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair for my birthday, actually, too. But... And also for Drake, y'all, I have my outfit and everything together for Drake, but I just need to figure out my hair, my makeup situation. I'll have to keep y'all posted on that. But yeah, y'all, so I don't know if I'll come back today. I might, I might not, but whenever it is, I'll see you guys when I pick up the camera next. Hey, you guys. I realized earlier today that it has been a couple days since I checked in with the vlog, but y'all, I promise you, the weather is nasty here, it's cold, it rained today, child, it was snowing all last week, rained this week, so, um, I kind of just been chilling, y'all, I really haven't been doing anything too, too interesting, but I wanted to come and talk to y'all, because y'all, y'all see my bookshelf is really, you know, doing what it's supposed to do, but I have been in the biggest, like, book slump, so, as I'm filming this, it is the end of January, and I read one book and I am just about halfway through my current read. It'll definitely be finished by the end of the month um, at the pace that I'm going at least, child. But I don't know, like between the first book I read, it was Love and Other Disasters. I gave like a book review a couple vlogs ago, just letting you guys know how I felt about it. And I thought it was a cute book, like, but it didn't, you know, it didn't wow me like it just didn't I don't know and it put me in a little bit of a reading slump y'all and I am having such a hard time getting out of it I'm currently reading um highly suspicious and unfairly cute by Talia Hibbert and it's a cute you know it's cute it's a YA young adult type of read and I I'm just learning that I'm not really like a young adult type of girl but since it has been so raved about I decided to go ahead and pick it up and of course because it is just about Valentine's Day my birthday and Valentine's Day are literally 11 days apart <laughs> so um that is why I wanted to just you know feel some you know and I just haven't in the past two books that I've read so I don't know what I'm going to pick up next there was a book that I picked up in my book outlet order um what's it called 
there's cult classic which that is one that i've really been interested in and then there is also um restore me by jl seekers that's another one that tiktok absolutely absolutely hypes up and i want to say there's three other books in the series or so i don't know i just haven't been like inspired and i hate that because i did so well last year my goal for this year is to read 24 but i don't know also y'all i don't know why i'm just now saying this but if y'all hear my dishwasher in the background i'm sorry i just cleaned up the kitchen and actually that leads me right on into what i'm about to get into okay i'm about to go ahead and see my face and do a little face mask so i'm just gonna bring you guys along for a little bit of skincare um and just show you guys what i am using tonight i have like two different routines that i've been using um and i feel like my dark spots are lightening up and y'all i did get like a neck wrinkle red light preventer thing baby baby it's linked in my amazon store you need one you need one i'll show you in the routine and i'll show you why you need it it's so so good so let's go do our nightly skincare Yeah, for the one time. Metro booming, want some more, nigga. Going to the jeweler, bust the AP, yeah. Sliding on the water like a jet ski, yeah. I'm trying to fuck you on your bestie, yeah. Chop up with this girl, so do not test me, yeah. Rick Flood, drip, go woo on a bitch. 5790, spent the coupe on my wrist. Multi million dollar, I'm a fool with the hits. Hop up in the lemon, and drop the roof, show the tits. Fucking, but you really not gonna shoot. Bandit pointers, time and time and like hula hoops. Y'all gon' check my boots and Valentino boots It's the woman out of way, a lot of them, a lot of rich Never hesitate to give a nigga yellow tape And worry about the bag, cause the cash accumulate So let me come in the game, all these niggas they imitate Put my mind on it, then I put my Hey y'all, so I am back and uh, Today's the next day, today's Thursday So we've almost made it to the weekend, tomorrow's payday I'm also doing hair tomorrow y'all, which is so random for me but um this is what my hair is looking like y'all know i think i told you yesterday that i tried the trey lux leave-in and mousse and i like the way my hair looks and feels in the back especially um but i wanted to try something new and do a little ponytail and i don't like the way this looks i feel like my hair needs to be older and just sort of bigger and fuller and where it's filling out in the back is not necessarily doing the same thing because this top part is in a ponytail so i just feel i don't know i don't like it I don't like it at all but i'm thinking tomorrow i will probably end up just putting my hair in a low ponytail or something any old way chow a claw, claw clip i don't know but i'm not necessarily a fan of this ponytail situation and i don't know this is why this is why y'all don't see me try a lot of, a lot of um different styles and stuff on youtube because like i don't like when my hair doesn't come out and i could just do my regular regular braid out like this down here and it looks good like i've been stretching it and it's it looks good to me this back part but i don't like this ponytail so i'm not sure if i will um just braid up this section like put this in two and just um you know do a braid out with two braids in that front section and then um just go from there because i do have some stuff i need to film so honestly i may do that later on tonight but i just don't like the way this this looks but like i said i'm doing hair tomorrow so do i want my hair in my face child i don't know but actually i came on here to tell you guys i i'm in such a reading rut right now so y'all know well actually i don't even think i told you guys but last year i was able to read 21 books um, which was an all-time high for me. So this year I did set my goal for 24, which is just a few more. Um, last year my goal was 12, so I'm sure I will pass it again. But I'm just in such a reading rut. Like I'm on my second read of the year and I'm actually reading Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. Um, I actually picked this one up because TikTok super super ranted and raved about it. And I was like, girl, y'all know I got a bad case of FOMO, hence the hair shelf. Okay and though i think the book is cute it's just not i'm not a young adult reader like this is about um like high school kids like transitioning into college type situation um i'll give y'all like actual full details about the book when i finish it i'm actually just about done it'll probably be finished up this weekend but i don't know i'm just not super like impressed the first book that i read this year was um love and other disasters and again, the book was cute, but it just wasn't necessarily my favorite. And I feel like I'm just going down a very slippery slope because even though I'm still reading, I'm not like 
as in love with reading as I was last year and I feel like I just need a good book to get me right back on track. So if you have any tips, please, please, please leave them down below. I'm sorry y'all I keep touching my hair. I just really don't like the way this looks. Like I just really don't. Um, I'm going to have to double back on these Trey Lux products and just try it for like a regular hairstyle because I like the way the back of my hair looks. It still has definition and every. I just took it out yesterday so it should. But um, my hair is moisturized. It feels good. I just don't necessarily like the style. So, um, But I also wanted to talk real quick because this brand sent me some skincare products. So shout out to I Do Care. Like do as in like there's a misty do in the air. D-E-W. So Thank you guys for sending this to me. So the first thing that they sent was the Hydrovise 10 Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It has 10 molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. And um, I did try this one and this was a little bit on a sticky side for me. Um, so I applied this in my typical like routine. I applied my toner, I applied this serum, and then I went in with my eye cream and moisturizer. And it was a bit sticky. Um, I'll have to continue to use this to give you guys like real real thoughts and see how I feel about it but that's what I used last night um I may I don't know I'm gonna have to play around with this one because it was it was a little sticky for me and then they also sent me the gold kitten revitalizing gold peel off mask and I'm really really excited about this one I was actually gonna do a peel off mask this weekend anyway and since I got sent this one now I'm like girl we're gonna be pulling this one out so those are the two products that they sent me so shout out to I do care because I'm very excited to try these. But yeah y'all I am going to hop off the camera. I'm actually about to take my lunch break at work and I'm just going to run and go get some Chipotle. Um, so yeah because I'm hungry. Um, I got cramps so I'm just down bad. And like I said I am doing hair tomorrow so I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. I'm just straightening um, a family friend's hair. So, make a couple extra little dollars. Alright, All right, y'all. So, don't mind me. My pants absolutely are unbuckled. Okay? Because it's that time of month, first of all. And your girl is bloated. Okay? Um, but I literally just finished filming my um, Amazon haul with those gift cards that my job gave me. Shout out to my job again. Because, okay, we love to see it. Literally, all of this stuff is over here. They were in all of these boxes. I didn't get those jeans from Amazon but um all of these things had to come out the boxes that's the plant stand but i actually came on here to tell you guys about this poppy so i'm not chair don't mind me and my crocs <laughs> but i'm not sure if you guys know or have tried poppy but these are like three dollars a can in like targets and walmarts and stuff i really really enjoy poppy my favorite flavor is the raspberry rose is that it raspberry rose um, which isn't in this pack this is a 12 count and we actually picked this up from Sam's Club me and my mom so this comes with the strawberry lemon which is really really good the orange and the cherry limeade $20 y'all $20 for 12 so like I said they're usually about $3 a piece so this is a heck of a discount I was very excited to try these shout out to mom for picking these up for me these are um, like a probiotic soda and usually I'm not a fan of like sparkling waters and stuff but these are actually really really good. They taste good and they're actually good for you. As well y'all I was kind of down in the dumps today so I went to Home Goods because I love me a good Home Goods run and I picked up two of these super cute pillows. Let me put them on the couch and this is what they're going to look like on my little couch. I was chilling on the couch chairs so the blankets everywhere and I decided to get the pink because it just adds a pop of color if you know my living room y'all know it's very wood and solid and I have browns and the bookshelf and that type of stuff so I just decided to get this little pink pillow I actually got two of them um just for a little pop of color like and I just think it looks so so cute so shout out to home goods it is super super soft as you guys can see it is a super vibrant pink and it just screams girly and to me so had to pop on to show you guys the pillows and the poppy hey you guys so as you guys can see we're in my bedroom um i was just doing some cleaning as you guys can see i had my bin with my sheets out over there don't mind my hair my hair i literally just finished my wash and go maybe about 30 minutes or so ago um so yeah that's all i'm kind of doing today and i'm going to just come in and close out the vlog for the rest of the day i'm kind of just 
cleaning i gotta edit i want to finish this book like nothing interesting um i may try a new face mask which if i do i need to start a new vlog anyway so yeah y'all i'm excited next week is my birthday um yeah like i said i really still don't have a whole lot of plans um my mom sister dad plan me like a little brunch so we'll be doing that on my birthday but honestly that's kind of all i really have planned to do so i don't know i guess we'll just see where the wind takes me joe but yeah i just wanted to come in and close out the vlog thank you guys so so much for watching of course i want to know how you guys are as well let me know something that's going on in your life of course i'm curious and definitely stay tuned for next week's vlog because child not me turning 25 oh my god <laughs> so yeah you guys i love you so so much and i'll see you in my next one bye